na kupatia utukufu wote. Asante kwa siku ya leo. Asante kwa nafasi hii tupatia siku ya leo kwa katika wewe wako. This our prayer you will be the son to our life of God. The entrance of your word give us light and understanding. We pray today that your word will give us light and understanding. We thank you and we honor your name. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. And we give our mighty glory to Jesus. Thank you our mom, Pastor Margaret, kwa nafasi kwa chupatia na kasi zuli mwenelea kuhifanya siku ya leo. Mungu wa bariki sana na wajende ya mema. Amen, amen. We can have our seats, but just give me a two minutes. Amen, amen. So you know, kono wako usebe ya sande Yesu. Come on, someone lift your hand and say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. I say what you're Yesu. Amen, amen, amen. Tunashukuru mwana kwa kuwa hapa. Mama meongea mamo mei. Tunashukuru mwana kwa kubali ya metutuwa. Tumetoka mbali. Tunashukuru mwana kwa nafasi ya leo. Ametupatia. Amen, amen. Ingetaka kumbiri tu mara moja. Na kama sida ubiri nimekuja na mke wangu. My friend Lucy. Amekuja na misiku ya leo. Ingetaka kumbatia nafasi ya tusalimie. Allow me to share my way to share my way to share my way to share my way. I didn't know that the Lord would favor us this way. But we thank Him for His faithfulness. I didn't know that today we will wake up, but by the way we woke up, praise be to His name. Amen. I didn't know that we, 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 in, in, in the midst of COVID-19, we will be starting and declaring the goodness of the Lord. Come on, appreciate the King of Kings. Amen, 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 amen. Sio kwa mba mambo mengi Yani, nivile maisha ime kupeleka Unakuta au nekua siku moja Lakini mungu ni muaminifu Na ni mkucho na shukuru kwa Amen, amen Yataka tufungwene una mungu in the book of the Second King, chapter 5 That's where we'll be reading our scripture Just one minute Second King, chapter 5 I'll be reading a scripture there And then I'll read A scripture in the book of Samuel First Samuel chapter 15, 22 Na kutoka pala chuta connect Na itakuwa mzuri sana Amen, Amen, Amen Na kwa wale wanaanjika Na chua kila mnasima tuwe na vitabu za kuandika Ni mizuri kuja na mibilia Na mahali pa kuandika For the few minutes we have like 30 minutes I will be speaking about Obey, Defy, Instruction Obey, Defy, Instruction Kuti mwelekeo wa kiungu kuti mwelekeo wa kiungu obey defy instruction kwa hivyo kwa dakika chache mungu anatuongelesha na itakuwa vizuri kabisa usidhiwe mungu mungu wa mbingu na inji
and your flesh will be restored and you will be you will be cleansed. Amen. Can we read the scripture in the first Samuel Samuel, please? Then we will connect from there as uh, first Samuel chapter 15. I love to talk about the first Samuel chapter 15. First Samuel chapter 15. And I will read verse 22. Uh -huh. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offering and sacrifice as much in obeying the voice of the Lord? To obey is better than a sacrifice, and to eat is better than fat of ram. May the Lord bless his word. Amen. Are we together? Amen. When we see the people that are going to church, we will be able to give you the Lord to give you the Lord to give Obey divine instruction. What we say to the same Pamba, we put tea, a half well and care of what you, Ama put tea, Saudi Amungu, in our Nena Katama Shayetu. Never is an absent Pamba, Katika, he is my Oka, Nakatika of Hong about for now, Kunamango Mengi, about na Pewa to Wesa Puti, Pompano, Katika Hitia, Yetua Kenya. Kuna hamri ilitolewa kwa ajili ya chanda la corona tukaambiwa kwamba ni sheria kila mmoja wetu atembee akiwa na mask. Na hiyo ni sheria na ikiwa unatembea katika huu mji wa Nairobi kama hapa kwa jenga bila kuwa na mask utaweza kuwekwa ndani na kutolewa fine ya shilingi 20,000. Kwa hiyo ni sheria na imepitishwa. Na ndio unaona kila mmoja wetu atakao kwa nyumba akiwa ana mask anastia kuna mahali amekosea. Katika kanisa kuna sheria. Wewe join hii kanisa hii kwa hiyo tuki mtu mwingine. Lazima ukuambiwe tunaendaga namna hii, tunafanya hivi. Kama wewe unataka ku join prison moshi kuna sheria. Katika familia zetu kuna sheria. Kwa wale katika ndoa kuna sheria. Na ninasema kwamba wakati mwingi hii sheria zetu ambao ni za kimanandamu tunasitii, tunasikia. Lakini wakati mwingi wakati tunapewa sauti ya Mungu katika maisha yetu wakati mwingine inakuwa ni ngumu kuitii ama inakuwa sio rais kuitii. Lakini nimekuja siku ya leo na tumwambia kwamba kuna hitaji siku ya leo watu kusikia mwelekeo wa kiungu. Wakati Mungu anapomnena, wakati Mungu anapochumana, ni msuri kusikia sauti yake na kuitii. Jambo la pili, wakati Mungu anapoongea, hata sauti yake inapokuja kwetu, wakati mwingine haikaiki kama ni real. Haikaiki kama ni practical. Inakaa kama ni kitu outdated. Aha, lakini Mungu anapoongea, ladies and gentlemen, ni vyema mtu asikie sauti ya Mungu na aweze kuitii kwa maana ni sauti you praise the name of the Lord. Nimesema ya kwamba Mungu wakati mwingine anapoongea anakuambia my friend fanya hivi unasema ai katika hii kale niweze kufanya hivyo ah sitaweza. Aha Mungu anakuambia ningetaka dada yangu huo unafaa hivi unasema katika hii kale nivae hivyo na ai nitakaa kama ni mtu wa ushako lakini kwa maana ni sauti ya Bwana wakati mwingine ikae kama ni sauti nzuri unakosa kuitii but i came back to remind you it is Oh. 
our bargain. You know, some of them are telling you that's a good thing for our talk. See you come on and down. Right here, who you tell me, who you tell me, and you come to talk about my shima, and you come to my shimika, and you come to our house, 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 and you come to our house.
Inasema kwamba Elisha akasema hata akitoka mchungaji akitoka kidogo dogo akamwambia enda waambie Naaman aende mchochoro ndani maje wao utaokuwa mchana aende ajiingize huko mara saba na atapona Elisha akamtuma na kufanya hii boss nimekuambia haikai kama ina make sense Ajitoe kwa na Mungu lakini ni mwelekeo wa kiungu na nimekuta kuingiza mtu ukisikia Mungu anakupatia mwelekeo kama huyo ni vizuri uuti hata kama ukai mzuri inua sauti yako mwambie Mungu nimesikia mwelekeo wako nitauti Amen Amen Ah instruction Elisha akatuma mtu akamwambia nenda waambie hiyo unajua Nama kama siku ya leo tunasababisha na kama mtu kama mjambai the police commander ni mtu mkubwa alikuwa mtu kama natiani kwa hiyo sio mtu mdogo hivi kwa hiyo alikuwa anatarajia akienda pale Elijah atakesea pale aseme in the name of Jesus I touch you tatika lakini hakutokea kwa maana wasi yake alikuwa anasema mimi ni mtu mtu mkubwa niko na security na itati kuelekezwa na kiungu kwa njia tofauti lakini Mungu anakataa kuja hiyo sio nataka lakini nimekuwa kukusha kucha kwamba Mungu anapokuongelesha ile yako ni kusema have your pay the fire instruction Hata nikwambie wale watu wanasaidia walisaidia mama hawako kama watu wanaweza kusaidia na katika maisha yetu kuna watu Mungu anatumanga kwetu awakai kama wanaweza kusaidia kuna mara nakutana na sema hii kanisa ikae kama inaweza nisaidia lakini kwa Mungu anakuta pale na kusudi fulani ah mtu aliambie nitasikia sauti ya Mungu bila sita kwamba nama ndio akasema huyu mtumishi kama anijui ni nani ni kama aende nimechoka wapi Unajua hiyo kitabu mtu akikoteka ukonjo wa ukoma 
kuzingatia hii instruction pia watu wangu wataweza kuitimiza yani tu akanangana alipo inuka akasema Mungu amenipatia hii project fanya within 10 minutes watu walikuwa wametoa 6 600 6 700 000. 6 and 7 000. Kwa kwa mechua, kwa ni kwa nini Mungu alikuwa nimepa instruction na alipo nena mambo itafanyika nimekuja kukusha mtu ya kwamba wakati Mungu amepeana instruction katika maisha yako kila unaweza kuifanya ni kuiti na kuanza kufanyia kama nikimalizia nimekuja kuchoja za basic bibi nasema ya kwamba Mungu akaambia Joshua nimekupatia mti wa Jericho lakini lazima usikize hii instruction akamwambia ninataka mwende mtu wa Jericho nimewapatia mkifika pale mwende usunguke kila siku mara moja kwa siku sita he Joshua kabisa Mungu akamwambia tena Mungu akamwambia tena mtu wa Jericho najua kuna watu wakubwa kuna jeshi kubwa lakini nimekupatia katika mikono yako enda kwa hiyo mtu wa Jericho kila siku msunguke mara moja kwa siku sita Kuna mtu ninaona anapita pale kwa 
kuwajia na anakaa kama mtumishi wa Mungu. Kuna yake akamwambia alafu tumwekee chakula. Hakuna shida, tumwekee chakula. Eh akamuuliza tunaweza kutumia kaya pesa. Mume wake akakuwa na shida. Lakini mahali huyo mama alikuja akakata tayari akamwambia na ninaona tumtengenezee nyumba hapa kwetu. Akaange hapo na tumwekee pesa. Na tumwekee kitanda. Na tumwekee taa. Anapofika kila usiku ana salamu. Hai? Hasa mimi kama sasa mimi naongea ile level ya mama. Ya zamani. Mimi kama ni mimi ningeambiwa na my wife mimi mimi hiyo kitu ningemfikia ni kiwia vizuri sana. Nimuulize akimesema nini? Tumtengenezee nyumba. Tuweke mesa. Na kitanda. Akiahange huko. Hai, wanaume wanasema ala.
na akasa na ndio tunaona Yesu alitoka pale kama angesikia sauti ya Mungu hatungekuwa na Yesu katika uso wake lakini pande ya kusikia sauti mambo ikabadilika kwa sababu kwa yetu katika shina la Yesu Kristo ningetaka mtu yule mkono wake kwa dakika 2 3 na ningesema tuambie Bwana tuko tayari kusikia mwelekeo wa kiungo katika maisha yako baba katika shina la Yesu Kristo